A vessel stuck in the Suez Canal disrupted the global supply chain. Israel has long talked about offering shippers a Red Sea. Mediterranean rail link, but neither the economics nor the politics look promising. The US considered a proposal to use 520 nuclear bombs to carve out an alternative to the Suez Canal though Israel in the 1960s, according to a declassified memorandum. The plan never came to fruition, but having an alternative waterway to the Suez Canal could have been useful today, with a cargo ship stuck in the narrow path and blocking one of the world's most vital shipping routes. According to the 1963 memorandum, which was declassified in 1996, the plan would have relied on 520 nuclear bombs to carve out the waterway. The memo called for the use of nuclear explosives for excavation of Dead Sea Canal across the Negev Desert. Conventional methods of excavation would be prohibitively expensive, the memo said. It appears that nuclear explosives could be profitably applied to this situation. The memo added that. Such a canal would be a strategically valuable alternative to the present Suez Canal, and would probably contribute greatly to economic development. As part of the pricing model, the memorandum estimated that four 2-megaton devices would be needed for every mile, which Wellerstein calculated as meaning 520 nukes. One possible route the memorandum proposed stretched across the Negev Desert in Israel, connecting the Mediterranean to the Gulf of Aqaba, opening access to the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. The laboratory noted that there were 130 miles of virtually unpopulated desert wasteland, and are thus amenable to nuclear excavation methods. The crude preliminary investigation suggested that using bombs to create a canal through Israel appears to be within the range of technological feasibility, the memo said. But the memo conceived that one problem, which the authors had not taken into consideration, might be political feasibility, as it is likely that the Arab countries surrounding Israel would strongly object to the construction of such a canal. The memo came as the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission was investigating using peaceful nuclear explosions to dig out useful infrastructure, Forbes reported in 2018. There were also plans to use this method to dig out a canal in Central America, Forbes reported. But the PNE project remained experimental, after the U.S. found that 27 experiments with PNEs heavily irradiated the landscape. The Atomic Energy Commission was also abolished in 1974. Meanwhile, the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory still exists. According to its website, it is dedicated to ensuring the safety, security and reliability of the nation's nuclear deterrent. The 1963 memorandum had also come less than a decade after the Suez Crisis, a conflict for the control of the strategic waterway which was a defining event in the Cold